Hi everyone, um, my name is Eritier. So I just want to um, share with you a quick testimony of what happens on Monday. So we went out to um, to hand out some food and also praying for the people. So I just remember this one story of, of the guy that we saw and we, we drove past him. And then when we were in the car, I just, felt, I just felt in my heart that I need to go back and speak to the guy. So I, told the, I, I spoke to the team, I told them, okay, guys, I think I need to speak to this man. So we went back and then I didn't know what to, what to tell him. But when, once I got there where, where he was, I'm like, hi, brother, are you, are you good? He's like, yeah, I'm, I'm doing good. And I asked him, can I speak to you for a few minutes? He's like, yeah, no problem, go for it. And I'm, I, I told him right there, I experienced that I need to share, to, to share with him about the love of God and how he sends his son to come and die for him. So I told him, my brother, God loves you so much and he sent his son to come and die for you. And he's like, no, 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 no. please don't speak to me about Jesus because I was a Christian before and just since then, my life just changed. It became just like ups, it went ups, upside down. So, and I'm like, oh, really? It's like, yeah. And I asked him, okay, maybe share with me more about that. And then he started explaining to me, it's like, I don't, I don't believe in Jesus because I have my own God and I believe in my ancestors and all of those things. So I started speaking to him. It took me like about 20 minutes to just share the love of God with him. And still, he, he didn't want to believe in, in, in Jesus. And so... And then one of my team members came there and then he also experienced the same word as me. He said, I experienced that God loves you and he sent his son to come and die for you on the cross. So I was like, oh wow, this is amazing. So I told him, you, you see now, our God is, is awesome because the same word that I, I, I told you is the same word that this, this man is, is, is telling you now. And he's like, oh, but still... This and this, just making up stories there, and we wanted to pray for him. He's like, no, you, you don't have to pray for me. But at, at the end of of our conversation, then I, I gave him the salvation pamphlet, and I gave it to him. I told him, if you can just make time for this, and I believe God is going to do something in your life. So make time and read and, and, and read through it. He's like, okay, I'll try. I'll try to do that. So what, what was very nice about this, uh, yeah, about this was, my day word for that day was the power in the word. So my word, the one that I experienced for him and, 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 and the words that uh, my team member also experienced for, for, for the same guy was like accurate. So that was just amazing. Just, uh, um, yeah, just to show that our God is awesome. And so I believe that after, after reading through that pamphlet, is gonna give his life to Christ. I believe. I believe so, because after that, when we were driving back, I, I was I just started praying for him in the car. I told the guys, guys, we need to pray for this man, because I know that God is gonna God is gonna shake his life and he's gonna do something. So yeah, I also want to encourage you. Also, maybe you go to someone and you speak to them, and they don't wanna give their life to Christ right there. So don't get don't get discouraged because. Maybe God is just using you to prepare that that that's meant so that someone else will come and lead him to the Christ. So yeah, may you be blessed and thank you.